everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing a it's basically i'm copying someone else's design <laughs> talk about honesty um so i've got these colors from model ones today i'm using these in particular because over the next few days model ones are doing a they've got a discount on these gel polishes with wooden lids on which i really like using so i'm going to do a design with these today and I'm going to leave links in the description box below for you. And if you want to get 10% off, um, you can use code Natalie 0 I don't know if it's going to work as well as the discounts on the website, but give it a try because you might be able to get another 10% off. So to start with, um, I'm going to show you the set of nails that I saw. Those ones. So I'm going to recreate that today. And the green I'm using here is called Christmas Tree which is ideal for Christmas. Although to be fair, Christmas is literally around the corner. So when if you're gonna buy some of these gel polishes with the wooden tops, I would suggest not necessarily buying Christmas colors, but buying colors that you're gonna use, news, that you're gonna use um, for the new year. So the white one that I've got is called Edelweiss. And this gold one is called Jingle Bells, I think. Yeah, Jingle Bells. I get this one confused with Golden High Hill, but Golden High Hill is more of a glittery one. This is kind of a gold shimmer. Um, I'm going to cure those in the lamp for 30 seconds, and then I have gone ahead and popped a second coat on. So for this nail here, the middle one, which would be the middle one, I've only done four nails. I'm going to pretend that we haven't done the thumb, but I don't know. I don't know. You could do whatever you wanted on the thumb. It's not... I don't know you could just do another green one whatever floats your boat but on this one which would be the middle finger I am using the Edelweiss gel polish just to draw out some stars so it's literally going to be a cross with another cross going like diagonally not the best cross in the world but there we go so I've got one there I'm going to add another two um, I'm going to be doing, I know I don't usually upload on a Saturday, but uh, Model Ones asked if I would do a video for today and tomorrow, and I, you know, don't, don't mind helping out, so I said yes. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a fireworks set, because I know Christmas is just around the corner, and it almost kind of seems slightly pointless now doing Christmas. Well, not slightly pointless, because it's not quite Christmas, but I expect those people are already going to have their Christmas sets on now. So I'm going to do a firework set tomorrow, potentially for like New Year, you know, if you want to change your nails between Christmas and New Year. Um, so yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Um, I am now adding some little white dots that are going to be like smaller stars. I'm doing some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And then I will cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so then I'm going to take some of the golden high heel on a dotting tool and I'm just going to put a little blob of that, not golden high heel, jingle bell, sorry, in the middle of those stars. And then I'm going to move on to the ring finger. This would be the ring finger. I'm going to draw out the outline of a bow. So the bow is going to be green. So I'm just doing the outline and then I will fill in the middle with the Christmas tree gel polish. Don't worry if the outside isn't very neat because we are going to go around the bow with the Edelweiss gel polish just to neaten it all up and add some detail on. So there we are at the moment we're literally just doing the inside of the bow and then once I'm happy I will just give that a cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. There we go. Looks like a bow tie at the moment now, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take the Edelweiss um, gel polish. And using my detailer brush, I'm going to add some detail to the top of the bow. So I'm literally just doing a, like, a loop here. From the centre of the bow, I'm going to loop it round. There we go. And I'm going to pop that in the lamp quickly. And then I will just finish the outline of the bow. And I'm going to add a little bit of detail. Yeah. 
just in the, from the middle and I'm going to sort of like flick it outwards like this and I'll do this on the other side so is everyone ready for Christmas because I feel ready for Christmas I feel so excited now and I know it's only four more sleeps and I'm so excited I can't wait I'm using the uh what's this one this is called Jingle Bell so this is going to be the bauble color so I'm just gonna not some some of you call it call them ornaments if you're in America you call these ornaments that go on the tree whereas in the UK we call them baubles or Christmas tree decorations I don't know <laughs> but I'm just gonna use my detailer brush to make this a nice round bauble you can all, I mean you can make it any shape you want you can do those those ones that are kind of like what are they what's that shape you know they've got a pointy top and a pointy bottom sounds painful doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> and then when I'm happy with that, again, I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure. Faffing I am, as per always. There we go. I think that's a good enough size. I knocked the lamp, which made my camera wobble. I'm going to use Nelkami's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue for this bit. And I've also got some rose gold caviar beads. So I'm going to use these to create the string for the... It's just to add a little bit more detail for the bauble. So I'm going to put the gem glue where I want the little caviar beads to go. Or micro beads, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. So I'm literally just going to do a line from the cuticle area down to the bauble. And then a kind of like cluster of these little tiny beads around just underneath the bow. So I'm going to go all the way to the top. This actually wasn't as fiddly as I thought it was going to be. You know, sometimes you do things like this and the beads just end up kind of everywhere. Actually, they were, they were pretty well behaved, which I was quite glad about. And I'm going to put a few here in a cluster. And then I think I'll put one more there, yeah, to make like a little like a little ball kind of thing and then I'm just gonna neaten this part up luckily as well because we're using the crystal totalist gem glue if I were to use like a base coat or a top coat they'd probably end up wobbling around all over the place but they're quite they stayed where I want them so I cured those in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go over everything with this model one's top coat oh I don't know why I'd, this is the one I actually used in the end the one with the wooden lids because this is I yeah I, I don't know if it's just the gel polishes or if the top coat is on, on offer too. But there's going to be links in the description box. I don't know if I said that. There'll be links in the description box below. And I don't know if my code is going to be valid with the discount. I think it might be. Give my code a go anyway, Natalie Double Zero, because you might save an extra 10%. And I'm going to top coat over the micro beads as well. This is just going to it's going to give them a little bit more extra security. And lastly, the pinky. And then again, these will go in the um, LED lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And that is them done. I'll give you a quick close up. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> so it wasn't my design, but I just wanted to give it a go anyway because I like the colours. I haven't really done any green Christmas nails. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to check out Model 1's website. And I will see you lovely lot tomorrow.